To install the XVP Manager, first double click on the icon. Now this machine where we're performing this install, I'm going to call the XVP Manager. As you can see, one of the first steps in the wizard is to connect to a vCenter server. And as you see here, we're going to put the IP address of the vCenter server that we want to connect to. We'll put in the appropriate username and password. Now once we've done this, the next portion of the installation will ask us to choose this XVP manager's IP address. And here's the XVP manager's IP address. Once this step is done, we're going to log into the vCenter server using the vSphere client and then use the Manage Plugins tab to actually connect this vCenter server to the XVP manager. Okay, once this XVP Manager installation has been completed, we'll go ahead and log into the vCenter server using the UI client. We then go to the Plugins tab at the top of the vSphere client. We select Manage Plugins. Scroll to the bottom of the Manage Plugins window and we'll see the XVP Manager. Go ahead and complete the install on the vCenter server itself. We can note the progress of this installation on this screen. Once it's done, now you can see we can manage third-party hosts.